How's it going everyone and welcome back to a brand new Battlefield 2 video. Today we're going to be talking about the best star cards for every light sided hero in Galactic Assault. Now keep in mind these are my, in my opinion the best cards. Everyone has their own play style but for the new players if you want to stay alive much longer or dominate on the battlefront then I do consider you using these star cards. Now, before we dive into the video, I will be linking the Twisted Jedi's best star cards video in the description below as well. Check out his opinion about the cards. I will also make the best star cards for the villain side. So if you want to see more of these kind of videos, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and also turn on the notifications. With that being said, let's dive right into the video. The star cards I use for the first hero is going to be Chewbacca. I use bonus health. Chewbacca has increased maximum health and total 150 extra health. Then HU and War. For every enemy Chewbacca defeats while Furious Bowcaster is active, it will extend its duration. And the last card is going to be Impervious. Every time Chewbacca deals a 3 hold of 200 combined damage with any ability, he gains 2% damage reduction to a maximum. Now moving on to Han Solo, we have, well, what I use is keep your head cool. After each headshot kill, Han Solo is able to fire his DL-44 blaster without overheating for a short period. The next card is Air Burst. The detonite charge will deal bonus damage if detonated before attaching the surface. And for the last card is Heavy Modified Blaster. An improved blaster allows Han Solo's DL-44 to build less heat when firing. Now moving on to the next hero, it's going to be Lando. For Lando I, I use Hot and Cold. Lando Calrissian has more base maximum health, just like Chewbacca, 150 extra health. The next card is Maximized Efficiency. If Sharp Shot hits 3 or more targets, the recharge time to the next one is reduced. And for the last card is Wide Eyed, Sharp Shot can target enemies at a longer distance. Now moving on to Leia. For Leia I use High Spirit. Leia Organa can regenerate more base health. The next card is Stay Together. If she is within 50 meters of two friendly units, Leia and her close allies will take reduced damage. And for the last card is Laser Brain. Alternate fire of on Leia Organa's Defender Blaster deals bonus damage. I use this because if you have like an enemy villain going after you, then you'll definitely have to use this card so you can you can melt down an enemy villain easily. Now moving on to Luke. Now for Luke I use Intensify. If you don't use this card, then I don't know what you're doing. This is easily the best star card personally for Luke because for every enemy trooper defeated or 200 damage, damage to villains increase Luke Skywalker's lightsaber damage by 2 to a maximum. That means he will literally just one shot every trooper except from the heavy and deals so much damage to enemy villains. It's insane. The next card is Jedi Reflexes. Luke Skywalker can do with one extra rush but the recharge time is slightly increased. It doesn't matter if, if uh, the recharge time is slightly re uh, increased because you, you'll have three dashes and you don't need more. It, it comes back faster than you think. The last card is extended push reach. Push has an increased area of effect. I like using this card because if enemies are shooting at you from a further distance and you can't get them with the uh, with the normal force push. This is the card to go with to get them. Extended push reach. Now moving on to the next hero is going to be Ray. The cards I like to use for Ray are Resilient Dash. Ray receives less damage while charging forward with Dash Strike. The next card is Damaging Strike. Ray will deal more damage with Dash Strike for each target that she hits. And for the last card is Focus Sight. Insight will be active for a longer period of time. That means she will not appear on the map. Nobody can see you on the map 
for a longer time. Moving on to Yoda, I like to use Agility. It's an extra dash. Yoda can do an extra dash. So you have in total, normally you have two dashes, but with this card you'll have three dashes. It's very useful for like facing off against enemy villains. The next card is Jedi Mentor. Yoda receives less overall damage. Now, you have to, I mean, it's up to you, but you have to use this card because the more less damage you can take as a hero, the longer you can survive on the battlefront. Now, the last card is going to be Feel the Force. Presence gives you bonus health when activated. This card, you can switch between Enduring Presence or Feel the Force. It's up to you guys, but I really like to play with the Feel the Force. Now, for the next hero is going to be Finn. For Finn, I like to use all three Dead Eye cards. The first one is going to be No More Running. After three kills with Dead Eye, its damage is increased. The next card is Stay Calm. For every enemy Finn defeats while Dead Eye is active, it will extend its duration. That means if you have like so many enemies right in front of you, you could have an unlimited dead eye. It'll never stop, in theory, but in practically, it's not always that way. <laughs> the last card is going to be raised to do one thing. Finn's dead eye has a longer lock-on radius, so that is just like uh, Luke Skywalker's force push. It has a longer longer distance where you can uh, where you can hit the enemy now to ob1 for ob1 i like to use give it all all out push has a longer base range this will increase the charge up range even more so it's just like like i said for luke skywalker's force push you can reach enemies way further than expected so that is one card i would go for the second card is Quickened Focus. The charge up time of All Out Push is slightly shorter. So this is the card I always use. It's because the star card, when you have the All Out Push, it, it charges up way faster. If you don't have this card, it's gonna be, it's gonna take you longer for the Force Push to charge up. Now for the last card is Forward. Defensive Rush, Lightsaber Hits deals more damage so this star card is a must for Obi-Wan personally because it one shots officers assaults specialists it unfortunately doesn't one shot heavies but it deals a lot of damage to heavies now for the last hero I don't want to I don't really want to mention him but it's Anakin Skywalker because it doesn't act normally it doesn't matter which star card you use for Anakin he he dominates on the battlefront easily with any star card. He's OP, but yeah. <laughs> with that being said, I'll uh, just let you know which star cards to use for Anakin to be more effective. First card is going to be Massive Strikes. Anakin Skywalker deals more damage with his lightsaber attacks. That means he'll one-shot every trooper except from the heavy. The second card is Control the Force. The base radius of heroic might is larger and for the last card is going to be raw strength heroic might deals more base damage now you could switch the raw strength card to attraction where anakin's pull has an increased area of effect that means you can pull your enemies way further towards you now now with that being said i hope you guys all enjoyed the video Make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and also turn on the not notifications if you want to see more star card tips to dominate on the battlefront. And like I said in the beginning of the video, I will link the Twisted Jedi's video in the description below. So make sure you check that out as well, and I'll catch you all in the next video.